guys and welcome back to another arsenal career mode episode 10 i hope that you guys are having an amazing day today i'm super excited to be filming this career mode with you guys today because i'm really nervous and excited to see what happens in today's episode because if you remember yesterday's episode we had a few little changes when i say little changes i mean literally major changes that are going to change our team if you missed yesterday's episode there will be a link down in the description box below uh, for yesterday's episode that way you can get all caught up on it as well as a link for an entire playlist for the arsenal career mode however yesterday we lost tyranny and i'm really sad about it because he got hurt and injured and i'm terrified so today we have we're gonna be playing with another left back hopefully it's gonna be good today yesterday he did a pretty good job uh we also yesterday looked at getting uh felipe continuo and i think a couple of you guys in the comments were like you know maybe we shouldn't get continuo now because we hurt t uh tyranny so maybe we should try to get a center back like klosterman so we're still up in the air about the decision for whether felipe continuo or klosterman i also seen a couple a couple comments for um fati as well so kind of up in the air with all three players honestly i don't know what we're gonna do when the transfer window opens back up but we do have some really important games today hopefully we can seal the deal and being number one in the league today so i hope you guys enjoyed today's career mode if you do be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and if you're new hit that sub button with your bunny paw to join the bunny family don't forget to click the bell right next to the subscribe button that way every time i post a new career mode you guys never miss it i usually post every day excluding one day a week so, so anyways without further ado let's get right into today's video all right so yesterday we left the career mode needing to play our match in the europa league league against OGC nice and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our press conference let's start off this this episode with a beautiful press conference hopefully we can amp up our boys get them ready for today's victory hopefully <laughs> well, I'm hoping it's a victory can Arsenal do it again I'm gonna say we'll try our best I need our boys to be in the best headspace as possible and I want them to come out like fiery attacking aggressive um, and I'm also thinking about upping the difficulty level by one to professional. I know yesterday we talked about that. Will you try anything different? Um, we'll look at what worked. Yesterday I had a pretty a pretty okay time with teams that weren't great, like fantastic. But when we got against Wolves, we kind of had a struggle bus moment. So I'm still on the fence about upping our difficulty. Can you keep this great run going? I think there's more to come. Let's say that. I think there's more to come. Hey, hey, let's go. Our team morale is very happy, which makes me really happy. We're also trying to convert Cedric from a right back to a left back. So hopefully he'll be a good substitute for Tierney while Tierney's out. Tierney's going to be out for three months if you didn't catch yesterday's episode, which is honestly in extremely like disappointing, but it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. However, wait a minute. Aubameyang grabbed player of the month. Wait, Aubameyang grabs October player of the month award. That is fantastic. I didn't even see that yesterday. Aubameyang's oppressive uh, performances for Arsenal earned him the player, uh, the Premier League's player of the month award for October. Dude, that's so exciting. Look at it. Hey, Lewin and Aubameyang were both runners up or like, you know, up been running for the player of the month for October which is absolutely insane like I'm super excited to see that our players are getting some players of the month excuse me Tierney got a broken collarbone three months while he recovers from his broken collarbone injury how did you break your collarbone Tierney anyways let's get right into this match we're gonna be on the left hand side and OGC is gonna be on the right hand side we are going to be simming we're gonna be in red and OGC is gonna be in blue it looks like so hopefully we can get this one under our belt let's go baby oh that's a really nice blue it's like a sonic blue on the the page that's nice i like that come on boys oh we started off with the ball and hopefully we can make a strong attack and get an early goal that's really what we're hoping come on boys yes a bombing a bomb oh <laughs> Obama Yang with an early five minute goal. Let's go, baby. All right. Oh, no. We are giving them a free kick. I'm really nervous about that. Come on, boys. You guys got this. Why are you, Por are you doing stupid free kicks? Yes. Like, OGC give it to Leno. Oof. Leno give it back to OGC, and then OGC scored. Okay, that is sad. David Luis passing it up to Cedric. Cedric passing it up to Dembele. Dumbelly out here passing it. Oof. Hey, that's out on a towel. That's out on a towel. Very nice. Let's go, baby. Definitely want to give it to a bombing, but I don't want it to be offside. Ooh, a bombing. 
Uh, all right, let's give that up to Dembele. Dembele out here. He going to turn on the Jets. He going to turn on the Jets. Dembele out here. He turning on the Jets, baby. Oh, but that's uh, that's out. That's oh, that's not out. Okay, that's all. Oof, that's out on you. That's out on you, Lodo. That's out on you, baby. Oh! Oh my God! That was almost a header. Oh my days, dude. Okay, look. I know that headers are probably not like that impressive to you guys, but dude, I, I've only I've only scored like one header so far this career mode, or in yeah this career mode. So I am like, dude, another header would be, and that was yesterday. So another header would be like insane for me. I would I would be so happy to get another header. No, okay, that's what's up. I get it. I get it. I told you guys yesterday, the refs be like. They, they be they be on their own AI type of team, you know? It's like AI versus AI, refs for the team. Boom, boom, back. Ooh, let's go. Okay, baby. A bombing hat trick hero in the game, 38 minutes in. Got us to a pretty comfortable point. And um, let's see how this happened, how this works. Hopefully, we don't concede any goals. That's really important. We only have like five minutes left in this half. Um, I am going to sim some of the start of the second half just to see how it goes. And then I might jump in at the end of the second half as well. Hat trick from Aubameyang. We're at 45% possession, four shots and three chances. Honestly, OGC though, they have four shots, uh, which I'm definitely pretty like oofed in. Like they definitely, man, they did not, they're not out here playing. They're taking their chances like we are. They just haven't been quite as lucky as we are. So, all right. Oh, also I was going to tell you guys yesterday, I saw your comments for the penalty shootouts to use my right stick not just my left stick um so thank you i didn't know that i was like using my left stick and i didn't know why it wasn't working sarah and 58 minutes in let's see what happens we might make some substitutions in oof obama is trying to give that to lewin but it unfortunately kind of fell through i'm totally down to to make some subs in around the 70th minute um you know maybe put in like pepe maybe put in Sokka. just get him a little bit of play time so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get actually awar needs a little bit of a break he's looking pretty tired so i'm gonna put Carayos in for awar and then i'm also gonna put in socket and uh will or in a uh, pepe for william everyone looks pretty good i just want to give him some play time so anyways let's go ahead and let's continue we made some subs out i'm probably gonna jump in around like the 70th minute see if we can get some oh ooh, Lewin. i would like to see another another goal from anybody but a bomb yang today um oh let's go lewin fantastic beast and where to find him here on this arsenal career mode baby <laughs> obviously a bomb yang because i want i love a bomb yang and i want to see other people doing the work and not just a bomb yang doing the work you know four of one at the 79th minute let's play a little bit to sucka oh sucka oh sucka with the jets because my guy just out here doing great type things what the okay i don't know what that was Saka. that pass baby boy that was pass was like eh, you know what Saka, boom bang oh we cut out cut back in and there it was Saka out here being a beast baby all right david louise up there getting that ball and i actually didn't mean to pass it to i, I didn't mean to pass it to a bombing up there but i don't know why it passed it to him i don't know what happened anyways i was trying to pass it to, to parte but it said nope nope not today mate okay 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 we're taking party up we're taking party all the way up baby Bam! oh you know what party was doing fantastic he was out there running that thing so gotta give him his opportunity you know all right let's give that up there Ayo. pepe pepe with the ball Pepe with the ball, giving it to Lewin. Lewin out here making a finesse shot of dreams, baby. All right, that is game 6-1 against OGC. I'm honestly, I'm very happy with that. You know, we got we got how many goals out of, like, we're ours versus Sim. I want to say we got, what, we had three or four goals. Um, And then I think Sim had, like, two or three goals. So we had eight shots, seven on target, 49% possession um 87 percent shot accuracy and passing accuracy so i'm actually really happy with with how we did like happy with our, my performance playing you know i want to get to a point where we're like doing really good and then we'll up it all right great winning congratulations no question all the headlines will be about Aubameyang. did Aubameyang's hat trick surprise you Aubameyang can lead his team to great things i feel like they always ask that when you get a hat trick have you got that edge on them now you have to take pride in your work <laughs> All right, let's go. Why do you think OGC nice? Oh, we're never able to match you. Just can't handle our attacking today. Dominated the game. I'm going to say we dominated the game because we did 
pretty much dominate the game. You know, we didn't, like, the defense did a really good job. Cedric's actually doing a, a pretty good job so far. Um, he should be done with his conversion to a left back, I want to say, in, like, a week or two. So I'm super happy with how he's done. Oh, wait, let's see. Wait a minute. Lewin. Oh, look at Lewin. Lewin's on the headlines, baby. Calvert Lewin goal seals OGC defeat. Calvert Lewin's strike helped his team grab a 6 1 win against OGC. Fantastic, baby. We did make headlines. You already know I love making headlines. I love our team making headlines. Uh, Hector Bellerin happy with Arsenal. Hector Bellerin has spoken on his enjoyment playing under Bunny. It's great to play uh, for a club and to play for a manager who has faith in my ability and picks me on a regular basis, he said. I'd hate to be in a situation where I wasn't getting picked and had to watch from the lads. Oh, watch the lads from stand the stands, excuse me. Uh, so long may this continue, he chuckled. I just... Need to keep my form strong and trust the manager keeps picking. Anyways, uh, Liverpool and us are tied. 26 points. Um, Spurs only have one point ahead of us. Both of us, actually. And the Wolves are in the fourth place. So, you know, I think we... We have a really good chance. Aubameyang still the top goal scorer. Hey, uh, let's go with 13 goals. And then Lewin is the fourth top goal scorer with seven goals. Super happy with how we're doing, honestly, as a club. Everyone's looking like they're doing fantastic. We do have a training day, and then it is a man... United game and I am nervous against Man United bro. I've been playing pretty well lately I'm feeling really good. Hope that means I won't just be on the bench for Man United I'm gonna say I'll think about it because I don't know if we're gonna be playing Man United or uh, if we're gonna be playing him in the Man United game because it kind of just depends on how We as a team do we're like super high and goals and we're comfortable we'll play him if we're not then we probably won't so let's go ahead and let's wait how's our team looking all right our team's looking pretty good stamina is up i was a little nervous that our stamina wasn't going to be like all the way up but everyone's looking pretty pretty well re rested awar is looking a little bit like he might have you know some low stamina by the end of next game or by the end of the game excuse me but let's go ahead and let's attend this press conference let's boost up our boys and hopefully intimidate man united a little bit Ooh, man united versus arsenal this is my team versus my team well not really but you know our last career mode versus our current career mode and this is very bittersweet honestly i don't like i feel kind of oof about this is your squad big enough to keep up uh we'll need everybody ready hey that's me what do you mean is our team big enough to keep up bro i think we've done a pretty good job bro a fantastic performance and uh resounding and win in your previous match looking ahead to the game against the great rivals do you and Manchester United, oh, do you have Manchester United worried? Um, we don't worry about the opposition. We were excellent. It's not about Man United's state of mind. I'm gonna say it's not about Man United's state of mind. It's about ours. To be honest, how Man United players are feeling about us taking on really doesn't concern me. Um, okay, just kidding. I feel like we should be able to, like, press continue because you, your girl doesn't read that fast. Can you keep this great run going? I think there's more to come. Hopefully there's more to come. Wish us luck, guys. It is time. Man United versus Arsenal game of the season. We're gonna have to go ahead and we're gonna have to customize this. We're not, we're not, no. I'm sorry. I know it's Man United's home and they should be in red, but like, I don't want to. I want to change the kit. <laughs> I want to be in red and Man United can be in their away kit because I like us being red. Honestly, I'm only doing that because my dumb little self will probably be like, oh, red, and I accidentally end up passing it to Man United because I'm just like that. So let's go ahead and let's sim. <laughs> We're going to be on the right-hand side in red and you guys going to be in, I want to say that you're going to be a white dot or a black dot um, on the left-hand side. Man United is starting off with the ball. Oh, and we got it back. Let's go, boys. Fantastic. Early goal coming up. Come on, we really need this. You guys can do it. Fantastic. Let's go, boys. Ooh, uh, Dembele, that wasn't really the greatest uh, choice you could have made, but productive at least. <laughs> Probably should have passed it into like Lewin or tried to. Yes, a bombing. Oh, that was fantastic. That was beautiful. Let's go, boys. 13 minutes in, and we have a goal. Sick, beautiful goal right there. Come on, boys. You guys got this. Get a goal. Nah. All right. I'm gonna jump in now. 20 minutes into the game. Oof. That was that was a powerful shot. I'm not gonna lie. That scared me. I seen that leaving his foot, and I was like, oh, the power, the power. All right. Let's take Cedric. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Lewin. Ooh, Lewin kind of got bullied off the ball right there. But that should be out on Man United, no? How is that not an out on Man United? Okay, whatever. It is what it is. Ooh, Arwar out here stealing balls. Missed to steal your girl. We did lose it, though. Oof. Fred out here broke broke my ankles. That's embarrassing. Don't just pretend like you didn't see that, okay? Come on, Willian. You got this, baby. Come on, Willian. You got this, baby. Come on, Willian. You got this, baby. No. Come on, Aubameyang. Aubameyang out here. 
Bombing out here to Lou in. Lou in out here. Boom. Wait, what just happened? Did that count? I see, I see the I see the ref in the right hand side. What was that? Did that not count? Counted. Hey, let's go. I get nervous when I see the ref Lou in kind of randomly out of his like position. It's like, you know, I just just go defense, Lewin. Who who needs you as a striker at this point? I mean, joking, obviously. Um, all right, come on, let's go. Giving that up to Willion. Willion out here. Hopefully that's not gonna be offsides. I am a little bit little bit nervous that it's gonna be offsides, but oof, that was kinda ooh, that was kinda ugly. Not gonna hold you. It was a little bit too much pressure at the end, but it's all good. Not mad about it. Hopefully we can get one more goal. We only have two minutes left, and I'm like, hopefully we can get one more goal. Hopefully we can shut him down here. Oh, I had wishful thinking. Wishful thinking was in my head. Sometimes wishful thinking is just that. It's wishful. We're ending the first half, excuse me. 2-0 against Man United, 45th minute. Um, everyone's looking pretty good though on stamina. I do want to resume the match, get hopefully like one more goal and then maybe make some substitutions. I'm a little bit nervous with making a substitution, but hopefully it, it won't be a bad look to make a substitution. Let's go ahead and let's take out Dembele up here. Come on, Dembele, turn on the Jets, baby. Dembele, turn on the Jets, baby. Oh, skirt, skirt, skirt. Oh, I was hoping that that would make Lou in. I was a bad, I was bad, bad pass, but I had, I hoped. All right, let's go. Arwar making it up to Dembele. Dembele making it up. Oh, that's going to be offside is all get out. I'm not even going to hold you. That is super offsides. But wait, is that not offside? Does that count? Wait a minute. Oh, oh it's not offside. Let's go, baby. All right, they're out here. Look, dude, like the AI knows when I'm like not the AI because they're like, ah, nah. Shaking and baking, baby. Shaking and baking. Cutting your ankles off, dude. I, I'm st I stay getting my ankles broken. And it's honestly so embarrassing because it's literally we're on like semi-pro. And they're just like, nah, who needs ankles? Oh my gosh, we got a bombing out here trying to make a fantastic goal, but De Gea just too grotesque. We got, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna have a premature heart attack because FIFA career mode. <laughs> it's semi pro. All right, Dembele out here with the Jets, baby. Dembele out here with the Jets. Boop, 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 boop. All right, this is the 70th minute. I'm gonna go ahead and sim and put a couple new players in. Uh, you know, we're doing a pretty good job. I don't wanna like do too much, but I am gonna take out Awar and put in Cavallos. Um, and then I kinda wanna take out Lewin cause he's looking kinda tired. And I really wanna avoid any type of issue with him. Hopefully it's a good a good shout. We'll see. If not, we, can all, we always have one more rotation in so we can sub in Lewin <laughs> back in. All right, let's go. Come on, boys. There's still a lot of time, dude, so don't don't rush to get a goal. You guys got this. Ooh, that's all good, baby. That's all good. Watch number 30. Watch number 30. Watch number 8. Those are the new sub-ins. Come on, baby. Caveos, you can do it, bro. You better... If you want to play CM, bro, you better play CM. Honestly... No, 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 no. Wow. Bruno for nons. I mean, honestly, dude, I seen that coming as soon as I saw that hole. All right, we're going to see if... if Hopefully we can keep it 1-3. Um, if we get it, if we get scored on again, we're gonna have to jump in. Come on, boys, you got this. Oof, nice try, Bombing. It's all good, boy. It's all good, baby. Cabello's leaving his post. Bro, you can't be like running all crazy like that, dude. All right, and that is it. That is game, the 90th minute. Uh, with a little bit of extra time, we had 45% possession, eight shots and six chances. We did pretty good though in regards to winning 3-1. Um, you know, Fred on our, on Man United got a, a yellow card. I don't really remember what he got a yellow card honestly for, but not mad at it. All right, so after that match, we are second place, like a hard solid second place. We have to see what happens with Liverpool. I don't know if they lost or won their game or if they haven't played their game yet, but right now we're a couple of points ahead of Liverpool, um, but we're still one point underneath the Spurs. So let's go ahead. We have a, a message from Lewin. What did Lewin want to say? Thanks for showing faith in me, boss, even though I'm not one of the big stars at the club. Oh, dude, I'm proud of you, man. Super proud of Lewin. He's fantastic. Love the kid. He's, he does honestly more than I could have ever hoped for. Hey, guy, for thanks for listening to what I had to say. Yeah, great performance. Blah, blah, blah. You did good, man, but you didn't do that great, okay? You did okay. But we did make the tabloid, so let's go ahead and let's see what they have to say about our team now. Que bellos impresis again. Who did he impress? Because honestly, I'm not very impressed. Anyways, um, Cabellos is one, uh, one player very happy with his excellent run of form at the moment. I'm playing really well right now and really enjoying my football at Arsenal. He told the assembled media after the game against Man United, it certainly seems the midfielder will be in the team sheet for the foreseeable future if he can keep turning this level of performance. Continue to be rotated in and out, for sure. How so wait, how many runs are we on? How many wins? Arsenal fans are will be delighted that the team continued its winning ways with a 3-1 victory over Man United. So excited. Uh, with, uh, by the way, this is all in the world news, so we made the world news, not just our club news. That is fantastic. 
Arsenal triumphs over Man United. Um, Calvert Lewin's just delighted with Arsenal's chances. Lewin is certainly uh, enjoying his opportunity at Arsenal, an opportunity he admits he's slightly surprised to have been given. I've been pleasantly surprised to be selected as office as I have office often excuse me as i have been he said i wouldn't consider myself one of the star names of the club so to get as much play time as i've been getting is fantastic oh dude that's so like sweet i just hope what i can offer on the pitch keeps getting me selected as often as i've been in the recent weeks he added dude like you love to see a, like a humble player like that man lewin is absolutely fantastic but he's over here like mm, i'm not like a superstar bro you are you're literally a superstar in the making in my eyes okay we've got some training though to do we do have an email that we're gonna have to attend to what's what's going on in the office nelson sold nelson sold hey let's go the deal went through with nelson we got seven milli to the transfer fund when you know the whole shebang is open when the transfer window is open so right now our budget is still showing only 14 mil so if the transfer window opens again we'll have to look at our transfer budget to see how much we have uh, and then kind of continue to see who we need to sell from there but we do have Cedric converting from a right back to a left back baby he is a full-fledged left back now so he will be in his proper position going here on out how our training goes our players are going to be in pretty good stamina shape when it goes to our next game uh uruguay defeats the rivals 2-0 hey let's go good for them dude kind of the same old news though it's looking like nothing really new to report on i do want to see though our standings um bobby Wing's still 13 and lewin is up tied for second place with Monet at 10 goals that's super exciting. Or Zawa want to sign Matt for one mil. And honestly, I told you guys I wasn't going to sell him. But he's def that's definitely the highest offer we've gotten for him. Um, not, not quite anything that's, I would say, like worth anything great. But we could he's not really doing anything for us. So we could just sell him. He's 26. Don't really have any, like, yeah, let's just, let's go ahead. Let's negotiate it for 1.1. We'll try to get an extra 50,000 for him, but let's let's negotiate. If we get 1.1, you know, that'd be an extra mil. Like I said, it's not really gonna do anything in the long, like the grand scheme, but maybe, you know, you never know, maybe it will. So let's try to propose a new transfer fee of 1.1. I wish that you can make them buy them for like a little bit more than what their like estimated offer is, but. Hey, perfect, shake and shaketh. Let's go, baby. So we just sold Matt 100% like capacity. We couldn't have asked for any more for him. So 1.1, um, not mad at it, dude. Just what it is. We sold him. We got rid of him. So let's continue our training. Our squad's looking really good, though. Look at him. Look at him go, baby. I do want to see, like, I wish that you could check on Tierney and, like, that they would add, you know, like, being able to be like, how's he doing? And, like, checking in with them, you know? Uh, checking in with, like, the doctors and kind of keeping up to date with his recovery process. I feel like that would be kind of dope to be able to do on the career mode, you know? So let's go ahead, and we have a league game coming up in just a couple of days, so this will be very interesting. Hopefully we can beat them. I'm a little bit nervous. I kind of want to, uh, go on to pro. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, our scout is, is stopping the such in England, so we'll send our next one to Belgium. I'm gonna try, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go on professional against brighton and if it proves to be too hard then i'm gonna sim it like if i cannot keep up then we'll have to sim it okay does that sound like a deal i feel like that's what we do we're officially a professional i'm honestly friggin nervous i'm like terrified right now wish me luck i'm gonna start Ooh, i'm gonna start the game okay we're gonna be on the left hand side in red and brighton's gonna be on the right hand side in blue wish me luck i probably shouldn't start the game that i'm starting the most difficult on for me but it is what it is. Wish me luck, guys. Arsenal. Look at me in my hat, but my kit. I'm out here a true supporter, baby. Not out here being a professional manager. Just out here being a professional supporter, baby. All right. Hopefully, Brighton. Pass that up to Dembele. I was going to say, hopefully. Oh, that was out. Come on, me. I think the nerves are getting to me. <laughs> I'm only like two seconds in. The nerves are already getting to me, dude. I see you guys with your little cute, wannabe cute, stupid sh tricks, dude. Oof. Oof. No! No, 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 no. Bro, pass that thing up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Saliba. Let's go, baby. Saliba. Ugh. I had the ball, so, like, defense was like, nah, you're good. Don't even worry about it, bro. We out here. We out here doing... Bro, literally, how is a cross going to be that weak, bro? Why is a cross that weak, bro? Okay, it's all good. It ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go full silent mode. We got this. I'm gonna go full try hard mode. Definitely nervous that I'm gonna let them score an early goal. Leno out here controlling the pitch, dude, with these beautiful, fantastic 
blocks, bro. I'm telling you, when I first started this career mode, everyone was like, bro, sell Leno. Like, he's garbage. But, dude, I'm gonna be honest. Leno's been pretty fantastic for us so far. A war making plays. Come on, Awar, pass it up to Dembele. Dembele, turn it on the Jets. Let's go, Dembele, baby. Come on, baby. Scurp, scurp that thing back. Boop. Oh, no. Let's go, Lewin. Let's go, Lewin. Boom, boom. No. How did that literally just pass up Awar? Awar, bro. Come on, dude. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I, li I like Awar a lot, but he's a little bit slow, right? He's a little bit slow. Is he a little bit slow? Not happy with it. But it is what it is. Oh my god, bro, if you don't get that thing, come on. <laughs> well, Leon's like, bro, I'm gonna have to take it all the way down here just to try to help you. That, that's okay. Well, that's cool. Good to know. Oh, I should have finessed that one. Mmm, man. <sighs> Ooh, Leno out here being the man. <gasps> no! No! Bro! It is halftime. One and nil, Brighton winning. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to jump to Sim. I'm gonna jump to Sim, give myself some stress relief for a couple minutes, and I might jump back in, depending on how the game goes, dude. I'm really nervous. Oof. I feel like I shouldn't have started off this game, but you guys got this. 51 minutes, and I'm probably gonna jump in around like the 70th minute if we don't do anything. Get that thing back. You got this. Do not let them score again. I'm gonna let us try to make one more play before I jump in. Come on, boys. You guys got this. 70th minute. I'm kind of getting anxious because like I want to jump in. But at the same time, I'm like, all right, I'm going to let you guys. Should have jumped in. <sighs> 74 minutes in. We we still have some time. Is that out on you? Or that, that's out on me, isn't it? Oh, that's out on you. Haha. <laughs> all right. 78 minutes in. Hopefully, we can find a hole and we can uh, get a goal. Bro. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, God. I didn't mean to run that direction, honestly. That was kind of an oof. Kind of an oof that's gonna be out on us. Bro, can we just get it off our, off our area, please? Come on, guys. That just happened. 2 0. Cool. Great! 2 0. Honestly, I, had, I didn't really, like, I was just facing a wall of defense and my strikers were like, nah. <laughs> so I was kind of just willy on versus the world at that point. Not gonna lie, guys, I think this may have been a mistake to uh, go professional, but. You know, we'll see, we'll see. Bro, how am I, how is that not just like auto grabbing the ball? Like, are you serious? He's literally like in front of it. Like, nah, not today. We're going back down to semi pro until I like literally dominate. Like, no concessions anymore. It's too late. <laughs> Two nil, we just got our butts literally whomped up and down the turf by Brighton. Yeah, we had, we had two shots. 100% <laughs> shot accuracy. Mm, I don't think we should choose professional i think we should play a little bit more semi-pro and then maybe like graduate for the next career mode in like professional or something you know that way we're not just straight up like getting our ruining our chances at winning the league the run's over what happens now i'm proud of the boys i'm gonna say i'm proud of them i'm very disappointed in myself because i suck <laughs> what did you just make of today's defeat uh, you must be disappointed i'm gonna say brian was just better than us all right um nothing seemed to go right for your team today what was the problem we let ourselves get bullied we let ourselves get bullied <laughs> they said nope not very happy we did let ourselves get bullied though <laughs> we're not happy about that all right so oh man all right Matt is not going anymore. We did not earn that 1.1 milli from him. Because honestly, dude, if that was against Brighton, no shots at Brighton or anything, but dude, if we lost to Brighton, unprofessional, we're gonna get whooped on. <sighs> Let's see, we made the tabloids. Not good, stunning display from Abami. I'm scared to see what even this said. Abami's like, I'm leaving this team, man, we lost. Um, Pundits and fans alike have been purring over the displays I've been seeing from Abami and Lately. He's been one of the outstanding performers in each of Arsenal's recent games and is looking like the man to watch in every time he steps on foot on the pitch oh yeah <laughs> okay i thought you were gonna say i want to leave arsenal winning run ends after brighton's 2-0 victory Oof. all right so we have a game coming up a uh, europa league game coming up very soon just a couple of days but we have a couple couple of training sessions before them um so we can hopefully get a little bit of stamina back recoup a little bit from our last game that we played this is not going to be an easy week for us we have a braga game and then we have a league game literally a couple days after hopefully we can conserve a little bit of our main team so i'm going to take out dembele in this game for Saka. i'm going to take out pepe in this game for willian 
And then I am also going to um, put in Caballos in for Awar. And then everybody else is probably, I'm assuming, going to be pretty good for the next game. Even if they play this game, we should be good. Uh, we're going to save this and then let's go ahead and let's play this game against Braga. We have a press conference. Uh, I'm going to try to 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 boost our, our confidence a little bit. First loss, excuse me, in a while. So people assume that Arsenal is a stronger team. I'm going to say we can't listen to the, the people. We got to listen to ourselves and keep playing and play hard hard or else we lose <laughs> can arsenal do it again we'll try our best i need everybody on foot today can you keep the great one run going i think there's more to come we're kind of aggressive in all of our answers but you know i want to boost our team's morale a little bit and um hopefully that we just did it today let's go ahead and let's enter this braga game we're gonna sim the match the first half we're gonna be on the left hand side in red and braga is gonna be in blue it looks like i feel like last game there was a lot that went wrong i feel like we probably shouldn't have done a league game in professional but not only that, I feel like we shouldn't have started off the game playing because I was nervous and it just, I feel like that was just kind of oof for our, our whole game overall. So we'll see how today's game goes against Braga. Hopefully it goes a little bit better and we can scoop the win, even though we're not playing with our starters. So um, if we can get a pretty okay lead here going on, I'll probably switch out Lewin for another striker. Um, that way we can get, kind of build up our other striker a little bit still. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. You guys got this. Hoping. <laughs> All right, don't let him get behind you. All right, and that is out. Let's go Leno. Leno out here passing it up. Let's make a play. Find a hole in their defense. And it's looking like our sim right now, we're not doing that great. Come on, boys. Ooh, this could be it. That's the table turning goal. Let's go, baby. A bombing out here with that table turning goal. 1-0. 25 minutes in. I'm definitely still a little bit nervous, but hopefully we can get maybe one more goal before the end of the first half. Come on, baby. Oh, beautiful. A bombing out here again with the second goal. Okay. I'm super happy with that. They're definitely doing better than what I just said. Not honestly sure that it was gonna be so great but like you know we're out here come on about me eh? all right let's see if we can maybe get another uh goal from somebody who's not about about me might be able to get a hat trick today our rotation players pepe and Sokka and kebeos is everyone's doing really good i'm super proud of how everyone's playing right now i don't usually start them so i'd say for not normally starting them they're playing really well all right. i like to move it move it we got Sokka up here come on Sokka, you got this baby you got this Sokka. let's go baby Oh no. Oh heck yeah, let's go Osaka. I don't know why that was a, a kick. I tried to finesse it, but I don't know what that was. That was, gotta remember. Gotta remember that the pace is not all the way there sometimes. The pace is a little oof sometimes with Awar, bro. Pepe out here doing Pepe type things. Getting it to Aubameyang. Aubameyang getting a little bit bullied off the ball, sadly. Got it kind of ripped off let's go partay hey a bummy that was dirty bro that was a power boo -boo. one two ah. pass that up to our oh that was cabello sorry um i'm gonna give that i forgot cabello or uh, our is an end dude any blasphemy i just spoke about our i most certainly do apologize um i was saying our didn't have pace but it was cabello the whole time so my fault dude i forgot we switched him out and i haven't been really paying attention to the number four one at the 79th minute you guys got this let's go baby bow a bombing out here doing just a bombing type things with his little somersault I honestly didn't really think that was gonna work, but like I'm very happy that it did. All right, we're five one against Braga, and I feel like this game I I could have gone professional in because Braga is not like Braga is not bad by any means, but they're definitely not like a superstar team. I I feel like maybe we can, depending on who we play, we can te teeter in and out of pro and semi pro, you know? Um, because I feel like the better the team is, obviously the like the more the harder it's just gonna be for us to play on professional. So I feel like maybe cup games we could play on professional and then league games we could play on semi-pro um because i just feel like the league game teams anyways yeah like i said le league teams are kind of better right now you know i'm terrified to slide tackle that i'm gonna get like a foul called on me but bro honestly the amount of like times your girl gets like just straight up pooped on and pushed down and like my ankles attacked i kind of feel like we should be safe all right and that is game uh, a little bit of extra time, but we did win it. We did manage to squeeze in that win pretty comfortably. 6-1 against Braga. We had 12 shots, 83% shot accuracy, and, um, you know, everyone did really good, honestly, dude. I think I'll continue to have our, our team probably, like, rotated with, with the cups if we have a close game against the league team right after like we do right now. So we're gonna have some questions about Aubameyang 
uh, was Abami an inspiration today? I'm gonna say he's a top player because he is, man. Abami is a top lad. Why do you think Braga were never able to match you? I'm gonna say we dominated the game because we did. We we really did dominate that game. Have you um have you got the edge now? Our attacking play is always a threat. I'm gonna say it's about our players. It's about our players. <laughs> gonna come in a little bit more humble because like oof, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We do have a Crystal Palace game coming in. We lost that game against Man United. We still are in tie for second place. Uh, it looks like Liverpool must have lost as well. They're down to 27 points. And Wolves is at 29 points right now. Spurs are at a comfortable 33 point lead. Or I'm sorry, 33 points. Um, a four point lead at the moment. So it's definitely not going to be impossible for us to get back or get up to first place position. We just have to hope that Spurs lose. And giving you guys some context for the game that we just lost against Man United, they're eighth place in the division right now. So Brighton is literally in 15th place in the league and we lost to them on professional. So like I said, I think we might try to do a little bit of professional when we do like cup games, if it's not a team that we think is gonna be the craziest and then on the league games, keeping it to semi-pro. All right, so that is going to conclude today's career mode episode 10. You know, we had some ups and we had some downs today in the game, but honestly, I'm really proud of the team. I'm really proud of us we didn't do i didn't do as great as you know i would have liked to in professional but you know we only lost by two which it could have been a lot worse tomorrow we have a crystal palace game again if you are new don't forget to hit that sub button with your bunny pot to join the bunny family and don't forget to click the bell right next to subscribe that way every time i post a new career mode you get a little notification or you get alerted sometimes the sub boxes don't like show up or stuff like that so just just so you always know that i post a new video so i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i will see you tomorrow bye guys